Welcome everyone to my release day unbox unboxing of Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS3. Um, I just got back from class and everything, so this will be a late. This will be coming up late, so right after I finish filming this, I'll be uploading this um, immediately. So um, first thing I want to announce before I start talking about uh, the game itself and other uh, the recent past GTA games as well, uh, I'm not going to be playing doing a playthrough of this game because. Um, if you guys actually are aware, I'm um, in the middle of so many games. Like I just started playing Saints Row 4. Um, I think last week, a couple days ago, I think uh, I just started playing Saints Row 4. Um, I still have to finish The Last of Us. Um, I'm still finishing up. I think I'm halfway through. Pretty much more, more than halfway than uh, through Kingdom Hearts 1. Now I'm playing on my PS2. I didn't buy the uh, HD remix because I already own like Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 right off the bat from PlayStation 2. So, um, and I'm also, um, I also do like Call of Duty Friday videos and I'm just doing those Call of Duty videos every Friday to keep the series going and everything like that. And, um, I'm trying to think what else I'm not actually, um, in the middle of playing through. Oh, and also Tales of Exilia. I almost forgot about that. That I also just started as well. But I haven't been putting too many videos of that because that's an RPG and you have to grind through levels and everything like that. And that's going to be a while too. So, that's just my main reason why I'm not going to be doing a playthrough of uh, GTA 5. But what I'm actually, what I am going to do is like, as far as video wise go, like for the videos for the game, um, in my plans that um, I decided to just instead of just doing like the playthrough and just going through the story as I'm sure pretty sure like Grand Theft Auto all the Grand Theft Auto games I played like Vice City and San Andreas and then also Grand Theft Auto 3 um, back on even GTA 2 back on the Dreamcast I used to have as well when I first got into when I first uh, heard about Grand Theft Auto and stuff because that was my very first Grand Theft Auto game GTA 2 for the Dreamcast but um, I know the story is going to be long so I'm just going to play that my own enjoyment my um enjoy the game for its own and its own merit and everything like that so uh, no playthrough for the uh, as far as story wise go because I know mo most people are actually playing through the game most people got it probably a a day early or uh, most people went to the midnight release I um, unfortunately did not go to the midnight release because um, I had to go to school and everything and uh, I'm pretty sure most people around the world like Grand Theft Auto is just one of those big games just like Halo and Call of Duty those top tier games I want to say in which people would just do, they're pretty much willing to do anything they uh, can to get their hands on it right off the bat on a day one as early as they can. And just games like Grand Theft Auto is just one of those type of games that have those big midnight releases with those long lines and everything like that. With everybody trying to go out and get their copies right off the bat and just go home and play it right then and there. But um, I know most people had, were probably didn't go to work or probably didn't go to school, but I don't want to give all that up just to skip school or anything like that because... Um, I'd rather just go and just attend to, like most people have more important matters to attend to just than just to go out and skip school or just um, call off a day at work just because, just for a video game. And that's just not me though. As good as Grand Theft Auto is in my opinion, and I'm a big fan of it, and just playing through like GTA all the way from uh, Grand Theft Auto 2 all the way up to uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and now we have Grand Theft Auto 5 today, um, I just didn't decide to do that because... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to miss all that work, so I didn't want to. I wasn't really risking, willing to risk all that just to go out and try to get and go to attend to the midnight release and lose sleep off of that, and then try to play a couple hours or maybe an hour, maybe even thirty minutes at the maximum to it, um, just to get a little taste of what the game is going to be like and just to experience the game for myself, just uh, just before I go to sleep. But uh, I'm actually just get it right after I um, got off of school and um, I headed right up to GameStop immediately right off the bat to pick up my copy and everything like that. So now I'm ready to play it. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, unbox it for you guys. But but just to give you guys just some information how I really got into this game. Um, my very first game, as I said, was um, GTA 2 for the Dreamcast. And I played through. Um, I still actually have these games. I have. Um, I don't have the Grand Theft Auto 3 physically in my hand, but it's um, in back in my drawer but I still have these uh, two games as well like uh, since I'm playing do videos on YouTube and everything like that maybe I'll just play through one of these games and sometime both of these maybe in the future sometime in the future when I um, when I when I don't really have nothing to play and maybe I don't want nothing to, uh, I don't know what to play or anything like that maybe I'll probably consider playing like doing a playthrough of maybe Vice City or maybe San Andreas San Andreas is my um favorite and 
in my opinion, the best Grand Theft Auto game by far, regardless of what um, people say about this game, because I heard great things about this game, and also with some of the negatives about the, um, the 360 version, has problems with it in which you can't install the game to your, your hard drive, I think it was, and um, not to mention that when I went to my GameStop today, when I went to go pick up my game, it was a couple people, it was like, the line wasn't really that long, but it was like almost, um, 10 people in line waiting to try to get their Grand Theft Auto. Some people was trying to trade in games to get it because they didn't have enough money to get it right, right off the bat and stuff like that. But one guy actually came into the store and it was like, um, he got a game. He got uh, his copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 and there was no game disc in it. So I don't know what to expect for it. I don't know which got, uh, console he got it for. Maybe it was the PS3 or maybe it was for the Xbox 360 version. But not also not only that what I also heard, but it was just a lot of problems. They were getting like multiple calls from people just having problems trying to actually just install the game into their um, Xbox 360 so and what I also heard is that um, off of IGM kind of talked about it and just posted about it and saying that just uh, as a warning and a heads up for all those uh, GTA uh, 5 owners that got it um, early or maybe they went to the midnight release or something like that um, not to install the game into their hard drive so um, I didn't hear anything about the PS3 version so um, I played my online games on PlayStation 3 but um, I'm just glad I don't have to go through that um, and have to endure all those problems. And um, or even if I got the, uh, for example, if I was to get the Grand Theft Auto 5 for 360, I would have known right off the bat not to install it. So I would have been prepared right off the bat anyway. So uh, that's just a little bit of how I got into Grand Theft Auto and everything. So I played all, all the other ones from GTA 2 to GTA 3 when it first came out for the PS2. Uh, and then uh, Vice City came out, and then it was San Andreas, and then Grand Theft Auto 4 with Nico Bellic. Now we have uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 right uh, in front of us. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, unbox the game for you guys and show you what uh, the game comes in, comes with. Because I didn't, um, I didn't pre-order the collector's edition or anything like that. Because I wasn't trying to put all that money in just to one video game with all these games coming out. And you got also not to mention the next gen consoles. But I'm not, I'm not going to pay all that money just to get all that additional bonus stuff that are dirty. They're cool in my, don't get me wrong, those are cool stuff that you get with the bonus and everything like that, but I'm just not going to be, I'm just not that type of person that's going to go out there and spend all that money with the next gen consoles coming out, and it's just a lot more games coming out uh, as well, but I'm just going to read the back to you guys, so here we go, it's not that much in the back, and then it's just all this other stuff about the little, the rights owned by Rockstar and everything like that, so here we go, here we go, Rockstar Games presents a Rockstar North production, Los Santos, uh, the old, I remember that city from, uh, Los Santos from, uh, San Andreas, so, <laughs> I'm pretty hyped for the game, so, it says, Los Santos, a sprawling metropolis full of self-help, gurus, starless, and fading, cele fading celebrities struggling to stay afloat in the era of economic uncertainty and cheap cable TV, or TV, I think I said TV. <laughs> I meant to say TV. And Mr. Turmoil, uh, three very different criminals risk everything in a series of daring and dangerous heists that could set them up for life. So that's pretty much it. And also, not to mention that it also has um, so one player game for single player. And it also says uh, it's up to 16 players co op, network players, and uh, up to 16 players competitive. So. Um, I have a 500 gig PlayStation 3 that I just bought not too long ago, the white PS3 uh, Super Slim. So I shouldn't have a problem just installing the game and not worrying about having enough room to put the game on. So uh, here we go. Before I show off, the, I want to see if I got anything else that it comes with no secret type of code. Yep, I got a code. It's a uh, Fly the Ultimate uh, or the Atomic Blimp code. So that's just a new code, but I'm not going to show that to you guys. But uh, this is what I'm talking about, though. It comes with a code that you get with the uh, standard edition. So, codes in the back. So, here we go. So, what else we got? We got the day, uh, the gay disc with this girl on it with half naked <laughs> with a bra. But uh, we got the instruction booklet right there. But uh, I'm about to get ready to show that to y'all in a minute. But we also have, it looks like a map of the whole map of the Los Santos uh, the whole entire map, it's just a map display of the Los Santos city and the, uh, the city map. It's pretty big to show, but I don't know. I might have to zoom out and show you guys, but I don't know how. Let me see. I'm trying to turn this over. Here we go. I had it upside down. 
I'm not going to show all of it, but just like the legend and everything like that. So you got the Los Santos and Blaine County, and you got the map legend with the um, that displays everything that you can get, like everything, like the icons and what the city stands for. So when you go to travel around the whole city of uh, Los Santos, you got the roads, roads, freeway tunnels, dirt trails, transit line, railroad lines, and cable cars, and then just like the legend, and then just like a big map of the whole Los Santos County, as it says right here. Los Santos County, but the map's too big. I probably had to zoom out, but uh, I'm not gonna try to make the video too long. Try to show off the map, so I know most people probably already know what it looks like and everything like that. So now, lastly, we just got our uh, instruction booklet. So here we go. We got the controls. It's not. It's nothing really much. Nothing special. Uh, Rockstar Games Social Club and just the controls, everything like that. So. I'm not gonna really pay too much attention to the controls, but I'll probably try to get on, just probably get the controls down pat as I play through it. So uh, that's pretty much it for the this unboxing video. So no videos uh, story-wise because uh, I'm playing so much stuff right now, and then I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just eventually try to come back and just try to play it or something like that. But I'm gonna just play it on my own terms and just uh, enjoy the game on my own and just not do any videos of it as far as, far as like playthrough wise. But I'll just be doing like the multiplayer gameplay, the multiplayer that's coming out soon. I think it was uh, October first to be exact. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think that was the date uh, for GTA 5 Online. So I'll be doing a lot of videos for uh, GTA 5 Online, just experience the type of game modes and everything else that you can do. Probably just messing around in the city. I'll probably just show some videos just messing around in the city, just traveling around and just, you know, the free roam game, just free mode, just roaming around the city and all throughout Los Santos, probably flying helicopters and everything. And maybe just... Um, trying out the, some of the competitive game modes or uh, whatever they have or whatever comes out with it and everything like that and also not to mention the uh, maybe some of the apartments maybe I'll try to hook up my own little apartment together and stuff and probably play with some friends if you guys want to play and everything like that so that, I think that would be pretty cool uh, and whoever wants to play and stuff like that so that would be pretty fun so uh, that's it for this video for um, the least the unboxing so um uh, uh, I see. I hope you guys <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying the game. I don't know what you guys think about the game, how you guys are liking it so far, but um, I'm about to just now play it. So um, this video is going to be uploading right now. So I hope you guys check it out, and I hope you guys are enjoying and having fun on your Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'm just now about to jump in. So here we go, and uh, I'll see you guys for more gameplay. So I'll see you guys later.